Hello and welcome to Some Grub with Mark Russell. Today we're doing Bangers and Mash. So into today's video, I'm going to be making um, pork sausages and mashed potato. This pork sausage is actually from a local butchery near me called Meet the Butcher. Delicious meat, like he, he's quite innovative with what he does. It's actually very good value for money. And in these times in, in COVID-19, I, I feel supporting you know the small business is the priority. In the mash, I'm going to do three mash, three potatoes. And then I'm going to fry up and reduce some mushrooms, green pepper. I'm going to throw a red onion into the... Um, with the pork sausage and then garlic. Let's rustle up some grub. So first things first, I'm going to put that element onto medium high temperature. I've got seven out of nine. And then I'm gonna put about an inch of water into your pot, like that. Let that heat up. I'm gonna start by peeling the potatoes. And I'm peeling it onto newspaper, which if you, it's a good tip if you're doing a lot of veggies, you need to peel and cut a lot. Always use an old piece of paper that you're not going to read. I get free newspaper from the local community newspaper. So whenever I'm done reading it, it goes out. Okay, so I'm putting a, another a pan onto medium to high heat. I'm using an old pan that I don't need to rely on the non-stick surface. And I'm going to cut up the mushrooms, the green pepper, and the garlic, and in she goes. I'm cutting up the mushrooms now. It's a pity these are nice big mushrooms, because I actually only want small ones. I'm, I'm going to be mixing them into the mash. So I want it really quite fine. I'm then going to put two tablespoons of butter into the pan for the mushrooms. Everything's kind of going now. I'll start putting in the mushrooms okay we got the rest of the mushrooms okay now the potatoes cut them into quarters and we got On. As you can see, put the mushrooms in here and leave them alone for a bit so they can reduce and then we start adding in everything else. As you can see, I've now put in green pepper, there's the mushrooms reducing. And I've got some fresh rosemary. I just chucked the whole sprigs in because I will throw it away. But it's more, this flavor just needs to infuse into the juices. As you can see, look at how much liquid the mushrooms give off. So you want that to cook down. Okay, so now the rosemary is in. I'm going to... I'm busy chopping up the garlic. I want to chop it as finely as possible. A very sharp knife. I generally go three ways. I cut it long side, like so. I cut it short side, then long side, and then long side again. I want to try and get the pieces of garlic as small as possible. If you have a garlic crusher, this would be an easier process for sure. See now it's starting to reduce quite a bit. Right now I'm chopping up the red onions, I'm chopping them in half and then 
I'm cutting half rings out of them, about half a centimeter thick, and this will be separated into the pan with the pork sausages. Putting in their pork sausages now, it should be a nice sizzle. Now when I add the red onions, I'm going to break them up into their rings as I put them into the pan. Okay, this all the moisture is out of this these mushrooms now, and even the green pepper. It's almost actually getting a bit dry, so I'm going to lower the temperature and just let it simmer away until it's ready. Like that. No. Yeah, the simmer. I've got it down to a very low simmer. Now, we have to turn these sausages carefully. Look at that. There we go. Now, if you've guessed it already, these are going to be going to caramelize these onions. About a tablespoon of brown sugar. Just a little bit. And what just the shy of sauce. A little bit on. Okay, it's time to check the potatoes. Okay, potatoes are done. That's where these are going. So, putting in the jalapenos now. Like this. And there's a drop of the vinegar. Have a look at that. So I'm now going to take the potatoes off, drain the water, put it back on, put in a little bit of milk, not a lot, just enough to see it all at the bottom of the pan. I'm going to take my masher and mash it up. A bit of salt. Okay. So I'm, using, I'm still using the hot plate because I want to keep up the temperature. So you want to keep mash warm. As soon as mash gets cold, it's not the same. It needs to be 
is hot. But you don't want to burn it at the same time. So that's why I'm, I'm, I put the element off, but it's still got that residual heat. And the same with the pot. Spatula. I'm going to take the, the rosemary out of the pan, which it came from whence it came. The fourth one here somewhere, yeah. Okay, so these are coming out. And then I'm adding this in. Love this kind of mash. I really do. It's decadent actually. See, there's still little, little bits of rosemary, but not a lot. You kind of just want the flavor, you don't want the actual thing. And then fold it in. Yeah, like you'd fold choc chips into a cookie. Okay. All done. And ready to plate. We've got one thing. Mustard. Yeah, if you get something. Teaspoon of hot English mustard. And mix. There we go. Glad I didn't forget that too long. Good save, just in time. It's also done. That's juicy. Let's get to plating.